You know, my inspiration, I guess, comes from uh, probably like two main things. Like one thing is like the history of this music, like what we as young jazz musicians, um, we what we eventually become obsessed over, and the uh, the vast history of the music and. You know, I guess like the lore, like of, of of all these musicians that were part of the the whole movement in jazz and things like that. But mostly, I draw my inspiration from the music that I'm listening to now. You know, um, and art, different artists that I'm checking out. And it's always it's always changing, though. You know, that's really kind of the best part about it is that. You know, sometimes you'll be thinking about classic recordings that you listened to for a really, really long time, and then sometimes you'll be thinking about like a modern jazz musician or something like that 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 you want to draw inspiration from. But really, it's not really something that you have to think about that much. It's just something that's part of your day to day and what you're listening to. And depending on what I listened to yesterday or this morning. It, it's going to sort of change how you improvise and how your art comes out. So, so it's really funny, you know, when you listen to jazz musicians and you listen to them on that day. The fact that it's that day, and depending on the breakfast they had that morning, or the <laughs> amount of sleep they got that night, or you know, you, when you see somebody play jazz, like you're seeing truly, like you're seeing like. That exact moment in time, what they're feeling and what they're inspired by, and uh, yeah, I mean, it can be, it can be something as simple as like you know, who's in the audience, and what kind of audience are you playing for, and what kind of room is it, what kind of instruments are you playing, is it a concert type setting, is it you know, all of these things are to me things to draw inspiration from before you start playing and, and things like that, you know. Uh, even at that Nanaimo concert, you know, like before you start playing, you almost go, like, what needs to happen in this room right now? And because of that, like, you, you're, you're never, you're always fresh, and you're always trying to, trying to draw inspiration from the moment, like not just musically, just everything that's that's happening around you.
Instrumentalist, there's I, I I draw inspiration from from a lot of different kind of ins like you know the drummers and piano players and you know even if you didn't play uh, multiple instruments as a jazz musician you would still be sort of aware of that because it's, it's very important even if you're a saxophone player to know the functions of what a good bass player does and what a good drummer does and all these kind of things so. But if I had to choose like some some artists that were like super important to my development, um, it would be like someone like Benny Green on piano, Kenny Washington on drums, um, Christian McBride on bass, Ray Brown, of course. He he Ray Brown's like the reason I even like started playing the bass, and um, Bill Sharlap. And of course, I mean, I'm only naming the people actually that people might not know so much about. You know, I could sit here and talk about, you know, John Coltrane and Winton Kelly and Miles Davis. And, uh, but those people are a little bit more like you're expected to know uh, quite a great deal of their, their work, you know. So, so I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to say anything too cliche, but yeah. But of course, all those people... You check out many different periods of their music, and you know all of it, but you're always trying to find new things. And these days, I'm way more interested in what younger and younger and younger people are doing, even younger than me, like, you know, because I, I feel like they have sort of the answer, or they have at least the sneak preview into, into what is the kind.